So I'm starting off today with heavy set on hex bar row. So you might have seen hex bar row before, but I really like the hex bar row. I'm only after starting to do it. But when you pull, you can get the elbows nice and far behind your body. So that brings in a lot more range of motion, which is great. So the bar itself is 37 kilos plus another 40, uh, 50 on it, so 87 kilos. And I'm working on my abs wheel with that. I'm gonna show you the full workout I've written over on the board in a minute. So heavy set here first, abs wheel. With the abs wheel, I'm doing like a standing abs wheel eccentric on the way out. And then from my knees, bringing it back in, back into standing, eccentric on the way out, just make it a little bit more challenging. With the hex bar row, the reason I really, really like the hex bar row is it brings in a little bit more traps. We're talking about traps and lats whenever we do row motion in general, uh, also biceps. When we're doing a barbell row, it's a little bit closer to the body, elbows are a little bit closer to the body, bringing in a little bit more lats. Whereas with the hex bar, you can actually get your elbows up a little bit higher, away from the body, and also get them past your body. That helps you bring in a little bit more traps, so I really like that one. So this is what we got for today. Heavy sets, hex bar, row, abs swing with that, wide grip pull-ups, knee raises, these are all heavy sets, so four to five reps with five, six to eight reps with four, T-bar row with face pulls, so bringing in a little bit more delts with your face pulls. I did delts yesterday, but it's grand a little bit more delt work, it's fine. Uh, three by eight to ten, reverse slides, dumbbell curls, move it up to ten to twelves, lateral single arm pull down, so it's gonna be like a pull down, single arm here, really squeezing the lat. And uh, pronated curls, so pronated curls like this, working on uh, grip strength really. Double row, easy bar curls, strap sets, and then finishing off with hammer curls, strap sets as well. I actually much prefer the dips bar doing those then hanging off a bar. I just feel there's not as much swing and I'm able to get a lot more of a contraction, whereas I'm kind of swinging a lot when I'm doing around a pull-up bar, so dips bar, I much prefer that. Just superset a T-bar roll with face pulls. A good superset for our traps, so upper back. Face pulls brings in a little bit of delts as well, but really squeezing those shoulder blades together would bring in those traps. And then T-bar row brings in traps and lats, so really good volume there in my, in my traps. So I'm super set in reverse flies and dumbbell curls. So a back isolation movement, traps, bit of lats, rear delts, super set with a bicep isolation movement. So, you know, long head, short head of biceps. So I'm gonna give my biceps and my traps a little bit of a rest. So I'm gonna isolate my lats with a, a lateral single arm pull down, and I'm also gonna do pronated curls. But pronated curls, I'm focusing on this portion of my forearm. So we really want to try and strain it up here, and uh, somewhere where I don't have a lot of muscle mass and also help with my grip. Okay, so working on this guy and working on lats. So on the single arm pull down, I'm actually sitting a little bit away from the pulley machine, so that I don't have to bend my elbow as much so the more I have to bend my elbow the more biceps I'm bringing in so I'm trying to get out the biceps out of this one rather than sitting here and having a lot of bend in the elbow so a big bend in the elbow I'm sitting out here I want to sit out here I pull down I don't have as much bend in the elbow I can bring a little bit more lats so with this movement my pronated curls, I'm really trying to emphasize wrist extension. So I'm not so worried about the weight in terms of its stimulus on my biceps, I'm just really trying to exaggerate that wrist extension, both eccentrically and concentrically. So in case you didn't see that, I'm gonna show you here with a dowel. So, these are my curls. So what I'm really trying to do is exaggerate concentric at the wrist. 
So I'm gonna this movement here. So from here, concentric at the wrist, concentric at the wrist, and on the way down, eccentric at the wrist, eccentric at the wrist, eccentric at the wrist, concentric on the way up, eccentric on the way down, and eventually when those forearms get really fatigued and I'm not actually able to do this, concentric on the way up, I just go to an isometric. So I'm trying to hold the wrist in that position and prevent any flexion here. So in the last couple, it's literally just an isometric hold here with these forearms, and you're doing a few turns. So I'm literally finishing up with uh, lat isolation movements, and I'm gonna just do a drop set on pull downs. So, so just pull downs. Just gonna do a drop set on those just to finish off with my lats. I'm drop setting my dumbbell rows, so I'm gonna get 10 on each arm, but I'm going right, left, right, left, right, left, so I might do like 4 or 5 on the right, 4 or 5 on the left, 4 or 5 on the right, 4 or 5 on the left, and like 2 on the right, 2 on the left, so drop setting that way. Then the same thing in easy bar curls, um, I might go a little bit higher than 10 reps in those, doing a drop set again, something heavy, light, light, light. Nearly done, just gonna finish off with some hammer curls and do a little bit of skills work and then I'm out here. So on my first one of those I actually picked up a 20 and a 17 and a half. So I just swapped over and did a drop set that way. So I did like 10 and then I think eight. So can I do drop sets now again in these hammer curls? Focusing more on Racco Radialis. So this guy here, um, stimulus again on our, on our, any kind of neutral grip. So hammer curl is a neutral grip, neutral grip pull ups, more Racco Radialis. So, like I did yesterday, I'm going to finish off a little bit of skills work, kick pass, solo, uh, pick up, uh, punt inside of the foot, and I'm also going to use the tennis ball, just work my hand eye coordination. Yeah. 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 